started writing music when I was at secondary school and wanted to play in band type situations with my friends and we had a very mixed group of people playing all sorts of things and it was quite clear there was no music in existence that we could play and it was sort of arranging at first all sorts of stuff of which I perhaps just knew the tune, wrote it down and then thought what the other instruments could do and moved on gradually from that to writing my own music. It was a long time, I think, before I could possibly say or identify uh, elements in my work which were personal to me. And in a way, my consciousness of that really came more from other people's valuation of, of what I was doing. I suppose now, many years later, I could outline a few things that seem to happen in pieces by me. But I think the other thing is that for the composer, the wish is always to elude yourself and to do different things and, and not to go down the same tracks. It would be a rather boring thing to set off on the next piece and think, here am I doing my usual thing again, even if in some way that is what, what you do. I'd played as an amateur musician in, in local light opera, things like Gilbert and Sullivan. Enjoyed enormously that idea that you were in the pit, but above you on stage, all sorts of mysterious things were happening and a lot of technical stuff was being done. So I think that was my entrance into opera. As a composer, well, I think the influences were very wide. I, I as a music student, had, had studied opera from Monteverdi onwards. I, loved all the greats, uh, Mozart, Wagner, came to love Verdi very much. I think it was more the form itself that influenced me, the idea that action takes place, that you have to think about that as well as the music, storytelling. Uh, yeah, it, it's in, in a sense a very dis different task from, from writing instrumental music. I really have no expectations about audiences when I go along to one of my own concerts and this is one of the things I most enjoy actually is to see who's there. I have no idea will it be a large or a small audience, will they be attentive or not, um, what kind of people will they be, young or old and will they be well dressed or you know who, who are these people. I, I think you can never tell, that's the reason why I don't really calculate my own work on expecting a certain group of people to turn up. I'm always very interested to know what the audience think and I think at the most basic level that can be picked up from their degree of concentration during the music. I think after all this time I can sense either a, a feeling of boredom or conversely of, of being absorbed and interested. It's extremely interesting afterwards if there is a chance to talk personally to people who have been there and to see what they got out of it. I really, by my uh, advanced age, I don't ever expect to be congratulated or uh, anything particularly to come out of it. I'm literally curious at what has transpired when these people have, have heard this music. A great deal of, of the music I hear of, of my own is, is from early years. Um, I'm glad I still enjoy it because uh, in a shame it, it would be a shame to innerly reject that music, it's sort of interesting for me to revisit a version of myself from maybe 30 years ago. In a sense, my own reaction to the progression of my own music is just increasing clarity, but that might be clarity for me in, in what I'm doing. I think when I started off, I was trying to do all sorts of things at once. Some of them weren't things that particularly suited me, things that I either wasn't good at or wasn't really committed to and the progress of the years has allowed me to weed out my music a bit so that I don't um, set off on paths that aren't quite right for me that although I don't like saying it in that way because I always feel one should be experimenting and setting out in different directions perhaps I have a bit more courage just to write down what I want but nothing more that this would be a fault I sometimes see in younger people's music that they feel they must make the music look impressive by, by filling it with as much as, as they can think of. Whereas for me, and this might just be personal taste, I, I like just to see the main thing that's happening in the composition. So if I were to 
look at my own work now, if it has gained anything, it, it has been more confident just to state the things that I think are important. For me, composition has to be the best part of the day, the most enjoyable part of the day. Of course, there are schedules and, and deadlines that have to be met, then it begins to feel a bit more urgent, but it's important for me to have had some of that relaxed time to get a piece on the go. When it gets to the later stages and everything is in place, yeah, I can work for much longer hours and get things ready. By the end, it doesn't seem to take any time at all to finish the piece and to do all the later stages. Uh, so it's, it's, the, it's the beginning stages that, that take the most time. I always really start my work uh, in collaboration with, with whatever musicians it, it's going to be and nearly everything that's a solo piece or a chamber music piece, it's been written for particular people. I think about these people constantly when I'm writing the piece. Oddly enough, once the piece is written and other people play it, then those are new people who, who come and personify the music. But I don't think I'd get very far without the personal example of those people. It's not always a question of spending a lot of time in a room with them saying, can you play this? Uh, it's more a question of having absorbed their sensibility and perhaps talk to them about why they want this piece to be written. What is the purpose of this new piece for them? That gives me a lot of clues in, in getting on with my work. Strangely, I welcome performances which were not what I was expecting. For instance, I'm very receptive to people who write and ask me if they could play a piece on a different instrument. I, I know that's contrary to a lot of thinking about recent music, which seems to focus so much on exactitude of instrumental details. I rather like the idea that um, people come with a completely left field way of, of playing one of my pieces. I suppose working a lot in the field of opera, where people do very differing performances, has acclimatised me to a, a differing way of, of presenting my work. Once again, I, I really welcome that. It, it's rarely that I've seen a production of one of my operas that I've hated. I've just always been very interested to see in what different directions it's been taken. I think this is a particularly important time to be a composer because I think what the world needs at the moment is to meet up more often than it does. I think increasingly we're getting behind computers and staying at home and the very best thing that can happen really is to meet together with other people and particularly to play music. I'm very interested now in creating music that a, a wide group of people with differing abilities can play as proper as a proper artistic activity, not just some educational thing that they do. And I feel composers have a lot to do in this process because the music that allows that situation to happen doesn't very widely exist. I think classical music, not an expression I use now about the kind of work I and my friends write, but it went down uh, a very difficult hill into a place where the average performer is, is not at home. And so I think we have a, a huge area to cover creating new work to suit completely different performing circumstances. And I enjoy this very much. It gives me new energy, I think, all the time. I still enjoy the activity of composing, sitting at my desk. I enjoy the handwriting and uh, I very much enjoy the rehearsing with the musicians once the music is ready, thinking about the new compositions that I'm going to do. I think those are really the enjoyable parts of it, always have been, and I don't worry too much about what will happen to the music afterwards. If I get the chance to write it, to hear it, at least in rehearsal, that, that's sort of all I ask.